Hey guys, what up? Uh, fuck. We're doing great. I'm at, <laughs> I meant to say, I meant to say, what is up, fam? Welcome to our first video today. And, and, and then you stumbled. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is the first episode. We got, we got to understand, understand that. Go I'll, ahead. I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking uh, do it. <laughs> Welcome back, uh, everyone. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Jesus. <laughs> I'm putting I'm putting this in bloopers. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Yeah, it's like we need some we need somebody to actually start the thing. That's all we need need to do right now. <laughs> like, okay. Okay, ready? Three, weren't you saying two. you need to do the music segment first? Let me no, let me just start it. Three, two, one. Hello everyone, welcome back. We have a new set of <laughs> What happened? I don't know. I I, I got oh, way no. I got wait to do Come here, Wait. come here, come here. Pat Pacey Mail gonna do something. What the you, were like, you were like totally prepared and then Yeah, just... but my voice went too <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Alright, uh get back to your seat so I can start this shit up. Damn, let's see. Damn. You got a strong ass nose. Scoot your goddamn seat. <laughs> Motherfucker! All right. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right. Hello. Okay. Right. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. What is up, guys? Welcome back. <laughs> you fucking Fuck. dick. <laughs> Come on, that was intentional. All right. Man. Three. I'll <laughs> no. say it. three, two, one. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Nerds Order. Today, I'm your host, Metal Mayhem, and we have the rest of the Nerds Order crew with us today. Introduce yourselves. Soulskins. Master J. Welcome, well, welcome, guys, and we have our lovely audience of one fucking cardboard cutout. Let's get into it. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's get started with the All music right. scene, shall we? I'll let you go first, Master J. All right. So with the music stuff, um, so I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with uh, Nerds Order Metal, uh, pretty much kind of like our first segment of uh, Nerds Order Music. So now I'm getting, I'm getting everything prepared for Nerds Order Hip Hop which is kind of like the second half of Nurse Order Music. Basically, we're bringing out uh, new artists, new upcoming artists uh, to get into the spotlight. Basically, and just share share what they're creating right now. Like, And I've seen a lot of them. And they, boy, they got fucking talent. Hold on. Like, bro. Like, this, um, I know this one dude... He's a he's actually a YouTube rapper and he goes by the name of Dax. Uh, his stuff is fire. Like once you actually hear his lyrics and knows what he's saying, like you read got you read think to yourself like, damn, he's right. Um another another uh person, um and this is mostly just like the YouTube rappers, you know. Um uh, uh token, uh this kid right here has fire heat his flow unpredictable like his stuff just comes out just just comes out running at you like, again it's that sounded really beautiful. sexual <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> all right continue all right. and and pretty and uh don't forget to stay tuned for it uh, for our interviews and Nurse Order Hip Hop, which will be coming up real soon. All right, back uh -oh. to you. Good Metal shit. Man. All right, and on my music announcements, I would like to say a few things. First of all, big shout out to Sun Singer with their EP, Ace of Cups Part 1. Love the artwork. All of it is hand-drawn. It is some amazing shit. Second of all, new album release from May the Tempest. The album just came out on the 19th. It is called Rise to Remain. It is some really good shit. If you're into metal, give that a listen. It's amazing. Detar, a group from the UK, just released a single called Underneath. It's a really good punk punk rock band group. Great guys. Got to work with them recently. And a big special shout out to Magnolia Park, whose EP Dream Eater just came out on the 19th as well. It has some really good shit on it. Uh, love me. That's, that shit hits so hard. Oh my goodness. And last but not least, we have a big shout out to Nick Natoli. He is a multi-genre musician, does R&B, rap, hip-hop, country. Speaking with him was an absolute blast. I have so much respect for that man. It is insane. All right, back to Master J. <laughs> <laughs> All 
<laughs> All right. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps up uh, for now in the music community. So now uh, we are going to get into another part of Nerd Order uh, co- uh, in our gaming division. Uh, right now, we're basically just uh, looking at uh, video games that came out recently, uh, v- uh, game console reviews, uh, basically just what our input uh, in the gaming community is about. So, and I've noticed in the gaming community about how there's been a little bit like a, not not like a war, because I don't want one of those. Not not another council war, but kind of like a debate of like which about which is better, console or PC. What do you I mean, guys? That's think? Just forever. <laughs> well, honestly, my opinion, I don't really care. Like, I just play to enjoy. Like, sure, PC has really good graphics, but yeah. also PC will always be king. Even though I don't play PC, it will always be king for one reason. That is how games are made. That I will respect. But I'm not yeah. a PC gamer, but I will at least accept that yeah. because that's if without PCs, games wouldn't even exist. I mostly use PC, but for the most, for the most, I mean, the past, the past stuff with PC stuff, yes, absolutely, they were the they were the front runners without a doubt, aside from like arcades. But um, there was also, yep, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> and then in other news, uh, uh, Microsoft. Uh, I've actually heard about uh, our testing lifting Xbox Live Gold paywalls for free to play multiplayer games. Ooh. So it's basically so it's basically just uh, Microsoft. Um, it's basically Microsoft. Just like I'm not sure how to explain it much. It's kind of like they're trying to make it more that, accessible to to the first person yeah. people. Yeah, essentially, yes. It's so basically let's... all. Of, other than like the stuff with like with what Sony does and occasionally what Xbox does, we know that's why the people have those consoles. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty the much part, it's, the first person shooter demographic is humongous. Without yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. No matter how and it's, you and it's it. more of the fact that like almost seventy five percent of the Xbox games you have to play with some type of like uh, Xbox Live Gold subscription, which were. Yeah. Which is like why they're doing this to cut down on that, so that way they can have more players and more income on their part too. Yeah, because Microsoft is doing fine. They don't yeah. need to do anything. Yeah, pretty more much. Money already if, if, if anything, they can just pull a they can just pull a rock stars and milk the shit out of Minecraft. <laughs> they can just oh. pull a rock star. I like that. I like that a lot. No, no, because you know how like Rockstar Games is like yeah, no, they've been looking, they've been looking GTA for like three for the last three console generations. Exactly. <laughs> I know, and, and I I <laughs> doubt we I doubt we're even getting a GTA Six at this point because we they, they've, they've been, been talking about it at least. Yeah, like, they have been talking about doing a GTA Six, but it, it's, it's rumored a while to get off of GTA Five. <laughs> yeah. It's rumored that they are putting in the work for GTA Six, but I don't know. I don't know, because there's always like some type of update with know, GTA man. Online. Sounds about so... as likely as another freaking Elder Scrolls. <laughs> oh, don't get me started on Elder Scrolls. I don't know. It, it's debatable. It seems a bit capped to me. Definitely, All definitely. Right. All right. All right. Well, and, um, and and <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to hand it over to our good friend uh, Soulskins. Well, I still have to announce the game of the week, so are we, um, what's going on? Oh, yeah, thank you for reminding me. Yeah, this also, game of the week is a game from 2004, which is called Yu-Gi-Oh! Seven Shots of Glory World Championship Tournament 2005, which is which was released on December 30th, 2004, for the Game Boy Advance, and was centered around the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series in 2000, and featured all the cards from that series, as summon, like Summon Skull, Magician of Black Chaos... And a bunch of other shit like Blue Eyes, definitely ahead of its time. It's such a fun game. It looks like an arcade classic. So if you're into that shit, check it out. All right, back to you. All right, and all right, and some uh, and some other uh, newer games that you guys uh, that you guys would like to check out is. Hold on, I just had it up. Like what the? F- <clears throat> Probably gonna be some indie titles. Hold on. <laughs> Let's face it; they're practically dominating right. the freaking market. Yeah, right now. it's 
All right, so there are like certain games. So there are some uh, games that just came out recently. Mm -hmm. um, I've uh, this one game called uh, Val. I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this right. Valhem, Valhem. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean Valhalla's cool. I want to play that game too. I heard it's good. Well, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> Valhem, which is basically kind of like a survival game. So it's basically a a realistic Minecraft, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have another game called Loop Hero. And another game called Outsiders. And coming in in fourth place, uh, <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> Little bitch. I mean, I mean, to be honest, Fortnite's not a bad game. It's just more than community. It's yeah, crazy. you got a good point. The, the community's pretty cancer. You compare you compare the com the community of like Fortnite to even something like Minecraft, and even Minecraft. Yeah, while Minecraft does have a little bit of toxicity. We I don't think it goes that far. Fair enough. Like, like, by, like, by, like there yeah. are some like, like, like let's let. Let's be honest, like, kind of like how this Fortnite uh, players has been cringe. We there are have been Minecraft players that have been a little cringe. Well, yeah, because when yeah. when it got so popular in twenty in the in like the early two thousand tens, like that that generation of like Minecraft YouTubers, everyone freaking thought they could do it. I even there's even like archives of uh, H. Joel Delirious and Vanoss Gaming actually doing a Minecraft let's play at one point. Yeah, didn't they make a dick? Yeah, I I think so. But <laughs> yeah. well, but we're not going to talk about that. Right. I mean, technically, we already did. Right. But yeah, I get your point. Yeah, like everybody wanted to be that sort of Minecraft player. It was yeah, it was an interesting. It it was a fun time to be like a, a fan of YouTube at that point. I want to be a Minecraft YouTuber. <laughs> That's yeah. the norm now. <laughs> and I, I really miss those I really miss those uh those YouTube days where you can be able to like practically post anything without having any like repercussions. Honestly. Yes, but does does older Minecraft has have, have axolotls? I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I love, I, they have axolotls now. If you can tame them right. too. It's amazing. <laughs> Alright, so that pretty much wraps up uh game of the week. And back to you, Metal Mayhem. All right. Shall we get into the world of anime? I Ooh. think we shall. All right. I'll get started. Today's weekly anime recommendation is called Hana Ukiyo Maid Team, released on April 1st, 2001, which makes it, it this its 20-year anniversary. Happy birthday, Hana Ukiyo Maid Team. I it was... <laughs> it was directed. It was directed by Takauyo... I can't, I can't say that's right. Takuya Nonaka, I, I, I can guarantee you I'm butchering that shit. It was featured on the Wow Wow Network with an anime adaptation called Hanukio Me Team Lavarte on, on April 4, 2004. The English studio who published the manga was called Studio Iron Cat. Main story is about a young boy named Taro whose mom dropped dead and then inherited a vast family fortune from his grandfather and is brought to this mansion where there are hundreds of maids. For a harem anime story, this it is surprisingly wholesome as hell with a lot of comedy, and the art style never ceases to amaze me. It's early 2000s, the art is absolutely beautiful, the detail is beyond amazing, and it gives me a reminder of how much art, and well, how much hard work was put into animes back then. Like, the detail work for everything just had me wanting more. Definitely yeah, a good that, watch. It, it definitely does remind me of, like, because uh, the other, hair, there was another harem anime, Tenchi Muyo. Ah, uh, yes. Definitely has the uh, Gives me the same the same kind kind of vibes, except it's not really a teen adult kind of kind of a kind of thing with with like Tenchi, but the animation is just is probably just as just as good, at least in my in my opinion. And understand Tenchi like that was like nineties, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this is this was two thousand one, well, two thousand four for the yeah. anime, two thousand one for the manga. It was close enough, but it was gorgeous. Yeah. I just finished watching it today, actually, like for like the, th the third time or some shit. <laughs> hey, I love good <laughs> stories. I love good stories, and I have to. Re I, I I don't watch something just once. I have to rewatch it more than once. I, just, that was me with. That's been me with IT yeah. Crowd. I've oh. watched it like five times already. <laughs> that's fucking great. 
I love it. Anyway, I'm off topic. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's fine. And then another anime I want everyone really to get into is uh, Demon Slayer. I heard that's been uh, been pretty good. Oh, it's so good. I've been, of, I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about it. It's amazing. Definitely watch You're it. Hearing a lot of great stuff from him, <laughs> dude. Fuck you. <laughs> the, the gush is. I could. I could hear the gush. I could tell you that. Much. Yeah. No. I. I just finished watching it. I don't need that booze right now. You good? Uh, here. Take it. Take it Here, out. We'll, we'll, give, we'll give it to our audience. We'll give it to our, our, our one guy who wanted who wanted it from the first place. Here you go, buddy. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Damn, we're about to hit right. yeah. Kobe. <laughs> no, no, for Kobe. All right, moving <laughs> moving on. Yeah, no, Demon right, Slayer so is that. really good. I just finished watching it. Like the, I, I finished the main season the third time. I'm waiting for the movie to come out to the U.S., and I'm seeing that shit when it drops, hopefully. But no, it's really good. The story is... A dark one, but it really brings out a lot of good shit about a lot of good characters. And let's not forget Demon Michael Jackson. <laughs> Bruh. Have you watched oh. it? There's also uh, there's also like the Promised Neverland that I've looked into looked into a bit. Like, oh my lord! <laughs> Didn't they like just go off the manga or some shit? Like they just stopped using the manga. Uh, well, for one, well, first of all, for one thing, this is an anime, uh, The Promised Neverland, that you need to do it blind. You need to do it blind. <laughs> I will keep that in mind. Because, because it's absolutely the type of anime that's meant to have reveal after reveal, and it's meant to have a cover that you're, that you're supposed to judge on face value, only for your entire world to just get twisted. <laughs> Damn. It makes sense. So yeah, Promise Neverland. That's that. That's one. There's also My Hero Academia, which will come out already with season with season season five. But that's certainly a, a hype hype thing to look forward to. But also to look forward to is that they have a third freaking movie in the works oh, already. Damn. And from the looks of uh, how it's gonna gonna work, it. Uh, the Pope from the poster, it looks like it's going to be focusing on uh, Deku, Bakugo, and Shoto. Ah, nice. The the three musketeers, apparently. <laughs> nice. Speaking of upcoming anime, Dr. Stone just got, just got confirmed for a third season. Mm-hmm. And right. I've been watching a lot of uh, Moshuku Tensei, or how I'm probably butchering it, the Job was Incarnate one, or Reincarnation, is so fucking funny. It is, and the basic, it's an isekai. Started watching it recently, and oh my god, it's so funny. Yeah, there's lot, lots of new releases. I also heard about uh, Bleach having its, having itself going through its last uh, steps. Uh, apparently, The World Ends With You, if anyone knows, knows of that game. That's also getting an anime soon, and the art style is... Interesting to say, say the least. It's very different compared to actual any, any actual anime I've seen, but... I mean, if you like in hmm, Isekai that that seems like a tournament arc, then this anime actually might be for you. <laughs> hmm, I'll look into it. You know, about Bleach, though, like the new arc, I am so ready for that. Like, I have been watching Bleach since the beginning. I actually just <laughs> re-binged all of it just to prepare for the new arc. Like, I finished it all in, like, two weeks. Just sat through, <laughs> just sat through all 366 episodes. Just, like, getting everything back up to speed. And I'm over here waiting patiently for the new arc. I'm like, yes! Much yes. like all the, much like all the other anime, decide besides like four kids, Toonami was my first introduction to stuff like that. Before you say anything about questioning whether or not Bleach could have been on on Toonami, they had Tenchi Muyo on Toonami, so I don't want to hear it. It'd be like that though. They had a harem anime in a kids segment. <laughs> I don't know if you want to talk about kids segments. Go to four kids. They got fucking bankrupt over that shit. The One Piece edit was terrible. <laughs> well, everyone pretty much says says that about the One One Piece dub. Yeah. <laughs> in a few more hours, the sun will rise. Dude. Oh, speaking of anime, today I actually just finished watching a um Assassination Classroom for like the third time. The the ending will always make me fucking cry. I I swear. I I just can't, man. It's such a good story. There's there's a lot of different different anime that I could definitely go go into and 
have a laugh, have a cry, all that, all that interesting stuff. And Pepsi Man, could you please sit back down, please? <laughs> oh dear God, I just got an ad for anime, and it is one I'm never going to watch. Fucking Higarashi. That is a very violent <laughs> title. <laughs> that series is more fucked up than Future Diaries. I'm not <laughs> saying something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, there's a reason why I never watched that crap. Well, I mean, it's not crap, it's just not my style. And then yeah, Toradora, like, that's a classic, if anyone remembers that one. Yeah, because, like, that's the that's also a thing, like, because, take Helsing, for example. It is the, one of the bloodiest some sort of, like, anime that you'd be able to find, but it's also because it's the thing that stands out the most in the, in the anime. Blood is a huge thing because, well, vampires lol. And yeah. they take it to such an extreme with Nazis the vampires, werewolves, the Catholic all these Church. Different... Yeah, even even like Schrodinger Schrodinger's cat. Like <laughs> they do everything in their in their power to make it as ridiculous as possible. And that's why I probably like it would like it better than most gory type of anime. Because it's meant to be ridiculous enough to not want to take it seriously, but still be entertaining enough. Honestly, like I actually might rewatch the original housing from the '90s. I'm really tempted to watch mm-hmm. that. I'll probably just watch Ult- Ultimate in, in the end because yeah, I know Ultimate's way bloodier. The vi- the visual the visuals like because like uh, Helsing is also the same people. The creator of Helsing is, as I believe, is the same person who did Trigun. Uh and the only really? reason you can actually tell that it's Trigun, and Helsing and El Trigun seemed one and the same, is because of the glasses. Definitely. The reflection of the round glasses is a very distinctive feature about uh, the guy's work. I forgot the creator's name, but yeah, yeah both are from from the same from the same dude, and both are beautiful. Like I love Trigun as well. Enjoying being part of the audience there. We got a new member of the audience. We lost one cast member. Congratulations! Yeah. It's, an equal, it's, an e- it's an equal trade. He, he, he oh, was demoted. Oh, oh, oh. All he right. Was demoted. So, okay. We lost an audience member and gained a cast member. So, <laughs> Equivalent exchange. As okay, they hold up. Hold up. I got this. I got this. Oh no! What are you doing? Hey, hold on. Wait. Fuck. I got this. Got. This. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, um, we got we got a new cast exchange. member. Yeah, we got a new cast member. <laughs> we just dragged him against his on. will. They're gonna be on the cast now. <laughs> you've been promoted. <laughs> you've been promoted from customer to. You've been promoted from customer to associate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I knew the anime segment was gonna take up a majority of this. And yeah, but I didn't know that you this fun. <laughs> look, we got a new cast member. Well, yeah, look at that! Look at yeah. that! Oh, um. <laughs> Speaking of anime, there's another thing about anime I forgot to mention. Inuyasha got a new season. Inuyasha? Well, it got a spinoff. It's called Uh, Yashimi, Princess Half Demon, yeah. And not too... I'm honestly... It's not too bad. I I watched episode one so far. I'm actually digging it. It's not that bad. I was expecting worse because you know how spinoffs are usually pretty shit sometimes. I was expecting that, but they're actually doing a really good job of it. Yeah, of course. There was uh Hey, uh, like, hey, hey, Master Jay, do you want us to be demonetized? Um, then how? get your blue bulge out of my fucking face. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> blue bulge, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, we haven't really seen that much in terms of spinoffs in anime. To be fair, fair enough. Because like there are, because there are spinoffs out there that that definitely do work in 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 their own way yeah. unfortunately some can just kind of capitalize on on the memes like ugh, cronk <laughs> or on the animaniac um, spinoff I, I, I have a question. ask away oh the the reboot i i thought the reboot was fine it's hilarious i'm just saying how there's examples of spinoffs and reboots Oh, I was just saying the ones that that don't work. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, Kronk it didn't really work as well. <laughs> what's what's your question, Master J? All right, would you consider like the original Teen Titan cartoon? Yes, as an be, anime, to be an American anime, kind of like Castlevania, an American anime, essentially. Yeah. I mean, it was good. 
uh, it was good. I don't think it'd be comparable to something like Avatar: The Last Airbender, because that's fair. Uh, in terms of Teen Titans, they had a very clear style of serious and chibi, and that was a very distinctive style they wanted wanted to go with, like very like kawaii kind of yeah <laughs> kind of that's kind so of look. And I mean, it worked out pretty well because I never knew about past Starfire, and I don't think I ever want to know about her past Starfire again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do love like the art style, but. The one one thing we should never talk about, the Avatar and Avenger live action. That was dog shit. Oh, we do not speak of that. We don't speak of that. <laughs> there is no Just runs oh. away. There is, there is oh, no oh, live action. I don't know what you're talking no, about. That's there, fair. There, there, it, there is no live action. Yeah, no, Thanos yeah. snapped it out yeah. of existence. Yeah. That's right. Are you the Avatar wrong? <laughs> oh, my God. Thanos uh, Hero. <laughs> <laughs> It's Iroh, by the way. <laughs> oh, damn. Which is disrespectful to to a man who was, who had passed away. Yeah. Go. What the fuck just happened? I, for, I, I used the Force, motherfucker. Speaking of what? Force, let's get into Star Wars. Oh, heck oh, yeah. yeah. So, what are your thoughts? Right, so... Let's start dumping all the... <laughs> Mandalorian, what you guys think? Oh, amazing! And, 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 what, and, and what you guys? Great. And what do you guys predict uh, for season three? Book of Boba. Well, if it still happens, who knows what Disney's bullshit right now? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, well, whether or not they actually do want to do it. Like, honestly, there is going to be a big conflict with the sat the oversaturation of Star Wars stuff because, like, there are quality Star Wars stuff. How sad that the sequel trilogy is not part of it. <laughs> For real. It's so disappointing. Yeah. Like the the Mandalorian, boom. And just to just to keep keep myself on the segment, the Bad Batch that's gonna be coming up coming out soon, which is a spin-off for the Clone Wars from the on that was from Cartoon Network and also known as the one show that or the one spin-off series that George Lucas considered canon. To the story of Star Wars, I can't wait for um, Obi Wan's uh, spinoff. That's gonna be really exciting. Oh yes, yeah. So the be- <laughs> with the Bad Batch, you have these genetically enhanced uh, stormtroop <laughs> clone troopers, and they're <laughs> they're gonna be a team. I don't know whether or not they're like the they're like good actually good clones, but they were born on the wrong side of history when the Empire was on the rise. Yeah, or that it's just going to yeah. be them slowly becoming corrupt into the into the empire. But regardless, I am very curious on how they're going how they're going to do this because the Bad Batch does look good and the animation style is like straight up one to one like Clone Wars. Like there is no argument argument there with with that, and that's that's going to be happening on on May on Star Wars Day actually. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. Yep. So that's when mm-hmm. Star Wars: The Bad Batch is going to come out, that's which I awesome. think is a very appropriate, <laughs> appropriate uh, timing. I will <laughs> love to say. I hope the Book of Boba is going to be as good as they say it is. I mean, it's, it's supposed to come out at the end of this year, so let's hope it actually happens. Yeah. And 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 uh, also, how do you guys feel about um, about Hayden Christ? Uh, oh, I'm going to butcher the shit out of his last name. Hayden Christ- Christensen. Hayden Christ- Christian Smith. Dude, well, yeah. uh, fuck the hate, man. How, 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 Let him do his thing. How, like, how, do you, how, do you, how do you feel about him returning as Darth Vader? I'm excited. I mean, now he has the higher ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's an actual right. show right. starring Hayden Christensen. That's an actual show starring him. It's called Higher Ground. Yeah. There was. An, I mean, I'm I'm kind of glad that he he's there. I do feel bad for I do feel bad for the original actor who played uh, Darth Vader because he's slowly he passed started him. becoming. He slowly started and started becoming Thanos snapped on his own eventually because yeah. they just they just took Hayden Christensen's that's probably where the controversy is is happening yeah like the, the guy who actually plays Darth Vader not just uh James Earl Jones yeah the original yeah like the actual guy who did the under the suit no I get you I actually have the original yeah. copies of of the um theater versions from those times and i can and i can tell the difference you know i have the original theater versions for return of the jedi new hope and emperor strikes back i know i butchered the order 
don't mind it. But, you know, I have the theater versions for all three of those, and I do see the comparison and the differences on that. It is so weird to hear the actual guy in the suit, though. It's like, you are the are the traitor of the of the Empire. Take her away! Like, I felt like I was looking at a CDI Zelda game. <laughs> oh, no! We do not talk about CDI Zelda. You rubies, you... Um, you want them? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. Oh boy, <laughs> smooching time. <laughs> That's not even CDI. No, I was in the animation that was in the same time period, though. Well, I guess so. No, none of the pit. It burns. Dude, the, dude, the CDI was dog shit. Especially with Zelda. <laughs> Awkward Awkward silence. Yeah, but not even CDI was bad. Alright, so, um, everything else aside, uh, uh, what other news uh, has been sparking up recently? Well, in terms of anime, just Attack on Titan wrapping up very soon. It's gonna, it's gonna actually be wrapped, it's gonna be wrapped up when we post this, by the way. Um, super excited to see how that turns out. Really loving it. I used to hate Attack on Titan for the longest time because I was always against like the giant cannibalism shit after watching Blood Sea with the bunny scene. That shit traumatized me when I was twelve. <laughs> I just have a bandwagon effect with stuff in general because like I usually jump on that on that train when everyone else is left. You know. Yeah. So like with My Hero Academia, everyone was already already had seen like most of season three, and so I had to catch myself up. I, I caught myself up in a, literally a day. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Dude, actually, season I, three. Dude, once I binge watch, it's a vibe that just doesn't leave me for for the longest That's time. That's awesome. Actually, it's speaking, a great talent I speaking have. Speaking to my hero, season three, I saw the first episode of that at Anime of Boston when they were doing a sneak peek with all the English dub voice actors. That shit was amazing. My, my best friend met the actor for Deku as he was wearing his Deku cosplay. It was the f- most coolest thing for him, I swear. Yeah, the the dub I'm actually kind of indifferent of. I love All Might in that. I absolutely love All Might in that. Eat this. But uh, uh, I mean, just overall, I just love the sub subcast, especially their freaking like relationships between each other as like cast members alone, because they are they're adorable. Like <laughs> that's awesome. Right. Wow. They are absolutely like when they're going to conventions and stuff. They totally talk about certain things, like uh, like the whole thing with how they translated uh, Shoto's uh, quirk. Oh, no. And it was like, yeah, it's like you have one for up, you have one, you have one for all. It's like it's just, it's just one for all. You're super strong. You have explosion. That that makes sense right there. Uh, Shoto, half cold, half hot. <laughs> Icy hot. <laughs> Look. Of course, always. Yeah, because and then the, and then Shoto was like, and then the actor who played Shoto was like, so like what? I'm just lukewarm. Lukewarm. <laughs> I like that. No, no, no. It's when you're microwaving food in the fridge, and part of it, no, you're microwaving, you're microwaving food for dinner. Part of it's hot, part of it's cold. It just yeah. mixes. <laughs> the hot pocket. Yeah, hot pocket. Yeah, for real. I've dealt with that crap. <laughs> like I warm it up, I take a bite. Part of it is so cold, and part of it is so hot. It just mixes. <laughs> Shoto's quirk is summed up in a hot. No, hot. no, no, no. <laughs> What's worse is when you can hear your food literally popping. But it's, it's just cold. cold. Yeah. How the fuck did you do that? Force, bitch. Give me the. Oh, ah, ha, ha. I caught it. But it's also, actually, to add on to the My Hero Academia thing, uh, they actually do have a podcast. That that the that the Japanese uh voice actors do. I'm trying to set it up right. So like uh the voice of Deku, he like runs he actually hosts it. Yeah. And he gets different cast members to join to join the group to just hang out and have just have a good have a good time talking about the talking about what's going on with my hero so far and just their opinions on certain things like like my god, like I can't get tired of the Japanese cast for something for some anime. It's absolutely beautiful. I can imagine, dude. Honestly, like when it comes to Japanese cast, there's one anime you always gotta watch sub. But I think we all know the name of that one. Hmm. Cho, Cho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, where did my Jack Daniels go? Oh, it's right here. 
But yeah, no, Joe George Bizarre um, Adventure, some of the funniest shit. You gotta watch subbed. Son of a bitch, horror shit. <laughs> I never get told. I this is gonna get edited out right now. <laughs> What's up? Hey, what'd you say? A good chunk what? of this is probably gonna get edited out. I know that. <laughs> Fuck that. This, yeah. is, this, is, this is for comedic purposes now, this boys. Is... Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. But where'd, where'd it go? go? It's all. <laughs> it's just... Oh no! <laughs> it does not start the I, I I yeeted it out of existence. Yes, you did. Congratulations, yeah, Pe- floating in Pe- space. Pepsio. Ah! Pepsios. Your new name is Pepsios ah. instead of Thanos. <laughs> instead of snapping, you yeet things out of existence. Um, it... come back. <laughs> go, come back. Have you ever heard the, yeah. the term instead of the infinity snap, it's the infinity clap? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> why did you bring that here? Because why not? This is this is this is the high or chair. Maybe oh, at least a little more. I like... have the I have the high chair. Wait, hold on. I'm trying to sit in it. Hold on. Trying to there sit. We go. Hey. This is fun. Yep. Hey, I like this. Your your face actually blends in with the wall. Well, he's through the wall right now, actually. Uh, uh, I don't like this. Why did you get Give me down. Give me down. Yeah, oh, my sorry. goodness. <laughs> All right, yeah, we should. Yeah. Oh, my. Whoa. Ah, ah. What, the go. F- what are you doing? Oh, and, and he's, he's, and he's okay. gone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just hear the Wilhelm scream from his like, ah! <laughs> and and the chair's gone. The chair's gone. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Damn. How did you get? <laughs> oh my. It's goodness. okay. It's okay. We're I have another. We're barely. One. You have another oh my god. <laughs> we haven't even gone through all the segments yet. Yeah, for real. We gotta talk about um fucking like Disney and Wandavision shit, man. Which I'll let you take that away, Soul. Right. I got. I have the newest. I have like the new releases coming out. Also, right also, did anyone watch uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier? I have to. I have had the I time have. yet. I know. Yeah. I I know. I have. I won't say anything for you. I I, 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 I swear it's gonna be like a buddy cop show. I feel like it. I feel like what it's gonna become. Okay, that was that's actually already... the detail I was looking for. It's like you feel like it's gonna be gonna be like that. Because last time you were like, it's a buddy cop show. It's like, how do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, one episode. We already, yeah, because we already know about like uh, Bucky and Bucky and Sam's relationship. Like even like in the previous movies. Yeah. Like they either like each other or they can't stand each other. Like marriage. That's understandable. <laughs> Be like that though. I had to do that, man. I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> the fuck was that? He had to do it, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, it's kind of crazy, you know. Yeah. And also, um, can we talk about the season finale of Wandavision? Go for spoilers it. For anyone, spoilers for anyone who didn't watch it. Me. Um. So yeah, Wanda might be as powerful as we all thought we uh, as we all thought uh, she was. Interesting. I mean, in the comics, she's pretty much annihilated all yeah. mutants. Pretty much, yes. Dude, I mean, she forsook a whole town. You got Vader going, damn! <laughs> well, well, to be honest, it wasn't even her controlling the town. It was uh, Agatha. Yeah, but it, she still choked it, everyone. Mm. But, yeah, it's, like, it's so interesting. And then, like, with, uh, uh, with Vision's path, too, just trying to figure out, like, okay, what the fuck happened to me within the past five years? Like, you were gonna tell me I died from from the love of my life. I came back to life, <laughs> died again by getting the stone snatched out of my head, and then getting uh, half the population erased from existence. Is that just spawn Only camping for... with hacking? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Vision and... was also developed in a very different way compared to the comic books because Vision was created by Ultron. Yeah, yeah. To stop the Avengers, and then Vision was like, "Oh no, humans! Oh, humans no. are right." <laughs> uh, nah, I like humans. Uh, they can stay with me. 
They are. They are. The creator, however. <laughs> yeah, the creator. <laughs> like he that, sucks. He likes. Him, he likes his mother too much. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> like, no, oh, Tony. Nah, nah. Vision be like, oh, Tony Stark, you're gonna be my dad. No, now. the the original Ultron that was created by Ant Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Ultron was created yeah. as. Uh, was psychologically created in the in the same way as Ant Man, and Ant Man was crazy. <laughs> so much. Ultron had a weird. Uh, he hadn't had a. He had a weird. He loved his. He loved his, the same woman that. Ant-Man, and also, and that is technically his mother. <laughs> and also, here's a possible theory that keeps like spiraling in my head. Um, so. We, so we all seen like the two corp, the two corpses, right? Mm-hmm. We have Vision, could not sleep for a week. Then we also saw Pietro's corpse, with all the bullet holes looking like Swiss cheese. Um, he didn't last. So long. <laughs> he really didn't. Um, so I think this is just a theory I had. Are they are they referencing a Marvel zombies? They actually they are could we be. Could we maybe getting a Marvel Zombies? Is that the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty expansion? What? I'm making well, a is... joke. Well, the, well, the yeah. fucking Zombies expansion. <laughs> I know. <laughs> imagine that, though. Imagine, oh, like, dear. imagine Activision. Pre- uh, it'd be it's pretty hard to actually execute. The, execute or the boss is just like a giant movie. zombified Hulk. Well, because Hulk, zombified Hulk was able to kill Thanos. <laughs> Oh, then you just then you, then you just fucked when you loaded, and then loaded, you died. <laughs> yeah, he literally just like punched Thanos's head, and then that was it. That was the end of Zombie Thanos. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, I feel like I feel like they might be referencing it, even though we may not get it later on in the MCU. I feel like, hey, here's something that you haven't uh, seen in a while. I'd yeah. say that's pretty hard. So cool. it's probably going to be a bit hard to execute because it was meant to be a bit more goofy. Yeah. But, like, even still, like, it could be an idea. That's fair. I mean, honestly, I if they do it, I'd love to see that. I mean, they did reference the zombie Iron Man with the movie Far From Home. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's um the the dead like, that was scary man that was horrendous I'm like oh Jesus it's like I, I didn't expect them to go this far with a Spider Man film I thought this That's was it. Marvel it was supposed to be PG thirteen if we want Deadpool then we gotta go all lengths do no 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 just give Deadpool the mask. They are they are revving up to get a trilogy. No, yeah. dude, just give Deadpool the mask and you're all good. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jim Carrey, uh, dude. Oh, imagine Jim Carrey as Deadpool. <laughs> well, I mean, you'd just be having mm-hmm. having uh, Stanley Ipkiss meeting Deadpool. Fair enough. All right. Uh, as far as far as anything else, anything. Nope. Yeah, my segment. Yeah. <laughs> what, what just, my entire what, what, segment. <laughs> which was and now and now uh moving on from all that oh, we you. have we we have we have our other brethren, Soul Skins, with his segment. Carry on, my good friend. That's uh, all by the way. Anyway, so we all we all have our own have our own like love of nostalgia. Everyone out there has their own love of nostalgia. But I'm actually, and I absolutely like hold nostalgia near and dear to my heart. But we need to have it be very clear that just because just because it all came into the past doesn't doesn't mean that there's nothing good in the future. That's where this this segment come, comes in, where I get to sh- show you and sell you the different releases that are going to be happening happening mostly nerd culture. Anyway, let's start off with Marvel. Black Widow is finally getting her own her own movie after like how long now? Finally. Five years. I'll say that. Uh, oh no, have... yeah, because 
the the most that they actually like gave us was literally the trailer. That's it. Well, even even then, the only thing that we pretty much know is that Taskmaster is then going to be the the main villain. We so the can, backstory is go the backstory is going to be mentioned throughout the actual story story that's going to be put in place. Uh, and I mean. I didn't see too too much through having a Black Widow movie, but I guess I can now understand like it's been a long time coming as it is. <laughs> so there's yeah, so, like, yeah there's, it's, it's it's very well deserved. So to step back and now to step back from Marvel since we already talked about TV with Star Wars: The Bad Batch happening on May the fourth. Let's have, get to DC. No, Disney. <laughs> oh. I mean yeah. that too. Okay. We have Disney, some Disney's, and this is all the spring releases, by the way. Forgot to say that. Uh Cruella. So we're going to get an an entire movie for Cruella Deville from from the famous from the famous franchise of 101 Dalmatians. And despite the fact that that sounds really freaking cheesy, understand that Disney also created Maleficent. That's when people are going to be going to be grabbed at their their attention because, in my opinion, that was the very the very best uh, retelling of the fair, fairy tales that they've been doing for a while now, and it's it's probably one of the few ones that I think actually worked the best, aside from say like a hundred one Dalmatians themselves. But I digress. Uh, so Corolla Deville. So that movie is going to be on May 20th, 28th, and it's definitely going to be an interesting look into her psyche in a way, in a way, and her descent into straight up, straight up madness. That, of course, as as many good villains are, do not believe just just how crazy they really are. Mm. So there's definitely. So, yeah, that's actually going to be a really interesting movie, and the actress who I don't really have the name of here. Uh, seems to be seems to have a really good grasp on how to portray Cru- Cruella as a whole. So I do think that this, this is going to be a very very good movie. Now moving on to from from Disney, no, not DC yet. We are going to just regular movies in general, which is probably the one that's going to be happening later on, and that's going going to be Mortal Kombat. After so long, so long of us having the just the video games to go off of and the cheesy nine, 90s movies, we are going to get a proper, more violent Mortal Kombat. Now, that does sound pretty pretty good, a retelling of Mortal Kombat 1 done, done much better justice because now video games are actually being taken more seriously. But there definitely is going to be a concern, at least in my, in, on my end, because... For one thing, Mortal Kombat didn't take itself that seriously. It did have some cheesy moments because it knew how ridiculous it really was as a story. So I'm concerned of how this Mortal Kombat is going to go. Like, is it going to go cheesy? Is it going to go full serious? Or is it going to be a mix of both? I hope it's going to be a mix of both. Not too much 90s, 90s cheese like, like, the, like the, the first two Mortal Kombats. Uh, I mean, one Mortal Kombat, uh, and and that's going to be on May sixteenth, April sixteenth. Sorry, April sixteenth. Uh, it's just going to be this MK one story all over again. Uh, moving now, we're moving on to DC because, of course, we always have to have a DC DC animated movie and. Lo and behold, we have our DC animated movie, Justice Society World War II. Uh, uh, to put it put it simply, uh, we get to look at the JSA, including including Wonder Woman being in the JSA, which I thought thought was an interesting interesting change. But these are char- characters and superheroes that show that they existed in World War II, and. Uh, the the plot is that apparently in World War II that America America and the rest of the world is losing to the Soviet to the Soviets for some for some unexplained reason 
and Flash is gonna is gonna have to go is is uh goes to the past to warn the JSA about this this sudden change that shift in uh, time that's happening that's happening right now. So with the help of Flash, Flash, and the JSA, the entire J, JSA, they're going to push everything they can can to restore to restore balance and to the fact that World War II was the beginning of the end for the Soviet Union. Hmm. But that's going to be happening on May 11th. But don't you worry for Marvel fans that are probably rolling their eyes at like, oh boy, another DC animated movie because you guys are going to be getting a, a, a Marvel animated show for, called MODOK. Essentially, this 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 robot chicken chicken looking animation <laughs> actually is appropriate appropriate because it is basically a robot chicken crossed crossed with the office. Oh it is God! Modoc, it is it is Modok trying to run his company and taking over taking taking over the world and hijinks and ensue and lots of lots of cheesy things are going going on. And honestly, I actually didn't think it was all all that all that bad compared to the anim, animation per se. Uh, also, fun fun fact about Robot Chicken: the newest season is apparently being run by uh, is apparently getting they apparently are getting a Lego animator to assist in in probably some some skits at some point. Uh, some people know most people know him as Forest Fire. Uh, everybody knows him as the person who created the duck song. Oh no! You should see some of the this some of the stuff that he did after the duck song because he suddenly started doing Lego stop motion animation. I actually really liked him, most of the stuff that he did from like when he was I don't know he might have been like 12, 12 when he started off. Uh, but he started getting like better and better like it is so uncanny it is so amazing how much he's improved, he's improved over the, over the over the course of these over the course of these years and the fruits of his labor are actually paying off because now he's going to be animating for robot chicken as well so that's going to be really really interesting a youtuber working working with with uh robot chicken that's awesome but uh yeah, it looks like it looks like definitely uh, the lineup is looking really good, and this is only for the spring releases. So stay tuned because because stay tuned for the the next because I'll be doing the seasons for the summer releases. And boy, boy, howdy, get ready! <laughs> I'm excited. It's gonna be now. a lot to talk about. <laughs> now you got me pumped. This is gonna be fucking fun, man. Oh yeah, because like this is just the spring releases I'm talking about. I'm not even going out and up and under the the release that's that's probably already out that's already out now by the release of this episode, which is Godzilla and King Kong, which has been a long time coming at this at this point to have a proper battle and to finally have a proper battle of the two mod, modern monsters of uh, the kaiju world. Yeah, but the question is, who's gonna win? Is it who, is it whoever paid more for the character, or are they actually gonna do this legitimately? Like, who knows? It looks like they're gonna do it. Do it absolutely legit. Uh, oh, it seems it seems like uh, God. And it seems like King Kong actually does have a have a chance because uh, if we were actually gonna be realistic with King Kong versus Godzilla, uh, Godzilla is about ten times taller than than the than uh, the gorilla. So he could literally stomp him, and that would be the end of the end of the fight. Honestly, but in so, this case, they're actually scaled, so they are actually able to fight on equal equal grounds. Yeah. And that one scene with uh, when he catches the atomic breath with a with a shield and sort of thing to bash onto Godzilla, like that scene was definitely a like okay, I could I could definitely see where these uh, where this battle actually might be interesting. And for those Godzilla fans, classic Godzilla fans, that would like to know. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the there's actually one character that has been rumored to show up in Stop. That has oh. been rumored to show up in 
Yeah. That's going to be rumored to show up in Godzilla vs. King Kong. Oh. It's a, and it's a classic... Uh, it's a classic Godzilla character. Uh, now you got me excited. We might be getting Mecha Godzilla. Oh, sh- wait, you, you, you being dead ass? Uh-huh. Oh, hell which, yeah. Which also means that we might be being... We might be uh, told... That this continuity is working in the same vein as the original Toho version, where there was origin, where there was one Godzilla, and then that became Mecha Godzilla, and then we have the new Godzilla that's that's running around now. Dude, well, speaking of Godzilla, I oh. love freaking Kiryu. That's awesome. That's the name of Mecha Godzilla, by the way. Dude, speaking <laughs> of, honestly, I, honestly, of, I just my. Mm, oh, speaking of Godzilla. Remember that time the creator bought the rights to Zilla just to have Godzilla kill his ass? Yes. That was. Uh, did you actually? Did you actually know how much? Uh, how much uh, involvement they had with the original? With the original 1998 version, like how much involvement uh, Toho had? How much? Um. Apparently, they actually got to see the model before before they began development on it, and even the sculpture look looked even more horrendous. As they as they saw this model of what God, Godzilla was gonna look like, like this was Toho looking at looking at that, and I'll, I'll show I'll probably show show you later, but that was even more atrocious than the actual final product. Damn. And Toho actually had to had to witness that. It's like uh, I I guess it's something. <laughs> Jeez. No, but yeah. Some- we're actually going to be getting. We actually might be getting Mecha Godzilla in in the process of this huge fight, which honestly I think is a better Listen, addition no. than Batman v Superman, where we get the death of Superman. No. That's exciting. The, the ultimate fight of the century. Um, l- listen, I I know how powerful Godzilla is, but I'm betting my money on Kong. I'm bet. I'm, I'm listen. It's the monkey. Bet money on the monkey. I'm saying bet on monkey. Been no, uh, um, <laughs> apparently he can defeat Gamera, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah, but no, I do love though about Godzilla franchise. Remember that ripoff called Zilla? Yes, the, I I do the, love the, how, the, yes, you know, I love how the creator of Godzilla bought the rights to Zilla just to have him get killed off by Godzilla. I'm over no, here no, laughing my ass off about that. Not still, even, not even that is enough justice to tell them, tell you just how much they hated that model. They retired Godzilla with the Toho version in Japan with Destroy All Monsters, right? Uh huh. Like that was meant to be the final Godzilla movie. Then they found the. Then they saw the 1998 Godzilla f- f- film, and they brought back Godzilla back from retirement to create Godzilla 2000. Bought the rights to to the to that Godzilla, named him Zilla, and then annihilated him with a tail swipe and a tom in a normal atomic breath. <laughs> that is the scale that you'd have to know. Please get away from me. I uh, know that is the exact scale that you'd have to know because I can't even see you. Like, <laughs> dude, for real, when I saw that shit, I was like dying. Yeah, so that is most definitely going. That is most definitely going, right, going to be exciting for for me at least. I didn't want to include it in my uh, list here because it was because I'm focused on stuff that's going to release rather than what's already released. And yeah, all the stuff for March is obviously going to be released by this. Yeah, by the time this is recorded, by the time it's done. Dude, I can't wait for that yeah. though. The new Godzilla stuff. Speaking of Godzilla, <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, oh my. It's just feet. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I mean, hey, since you're a monkey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't think you actually take that That's... serious. No, I'm changing back. I'm changing back. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, what are we doing? Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. You know, that, that's, a, that's a fucking King Kong. <laughs> what's that? I don't know what's happening anymore, dude. I really don't know what's happening. Oh, my goodness. So... so that's all the movies that are going to be coming out. <laughs> all right, well, I think this wraps up today's video. Shall we go get all some right. free candy, boys?
Let's go right, guys, that wraps up the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit those post notification bells, okay. and don't forget to stay tuned with the latest trends. Until next time, we out. Let's go get some candy before we leave. I was not aware of the model you were using. Come on, boys. Let's go get some free candy. I just see you coming behind me. Free candy. 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 Dude, get your balls out of my face. Candy. Get ready to see my giant monkey <gasps> form. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> see you on the top. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. You're just on the oh. engine. There it is. Monkey likes. Monkey likes. Alrighty. One last question for you beautiful viewers at home. What anime character is this from? We must know the answer. For very obvious we're reasons. Actually, yeah, we're also we're also very much question actually questioning it because it's Google cute as fuck. Yeah, Google Google <laughs> failed us. Well, what you wait? What you type? In? Did you just type oh, in yeah, free yeah. anime, free free candy? What the fuck did you type in? No, I just did like <laughs> I I first did like wolf because it definitely looked more like a wolf. Yeah, it rem it, yeah, it does remind me of um spice and wolf a bit. All right, let's go get yeah, some free candy, right. boys. Everyone in the truck. Everyone in the back. In three, two. <laughs> Oh yeah, do we play a game? I don't know. Bro, do I, I really love how like model. half of my body was only sticking out the truck. <laughs> I'm tripping balls. I'm on the shrew. I will admit this map is very unique. I do love whoever made this. Yeah. And guys, don't forget to join our Discord. We'd be having a lot of good shit there. We're uh, sponsored we're by Dura Batteries. <laughs> No, look, look at the fucking sign. Yeah. <laughs> or Arud, speaking it backwards from my point of view. Yeah, because it's, it's Dura over here. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> then you are lost. What the fuck is Monkey? Oh, he transformed into Paul. <laughs> this, is, this is a fucking backflip. Oh, is that, man. Is that the same one from Surgeon Simulator? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, okay, back in the van. Back in the van. Back in the van. Get in the van for some free candy. Well, like before, likes, um, like and subscribe for future videos. And we are... Ow! I just see a fucking shroom in my head. Go the master. The shrooms are on you. <laughs> oh, you're riding me? Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, are you actually riding me, like, legit? All right, hold on. Yeah, I, got, I, I got you, fam. I got you, fam. Why not, no, no, open up Netflix. These, I got you, fam. These, these these are things that you don't say out loud. Oh, oh. These are things that you don't say out loud. He's riding me. I just see a giant flying tip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's the Russian version of shrooms. It's oh, the, oh, oh, oh no! Edge, we just felt we, whoa! <laughs> what the hell? We we <laughs> fell through the moon. <laughs> I knew it was a space station. Uh, oh, what, oh, oh, wait! Oh, what's fall? Oh, oh, what's this? Falling. Wait, this is actually meant to happen. Oh, okay, I'm right here. Oh, no, oh, that hurts my eyes. That makes it worse. Oh, oh. it's like a drop down kind of thing. All right, uh, okay. There's like a drop down to like the roof of the main room. Yeah, I think so. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, wait, we back. I have never noticed that before about this map. All right, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, have a have a have a have a have a good day. I'm obviously ed editing that out. <laughs>